Welcome to the piano studio of Lisa Bailey. We are working on Sledward's Ice and Easy Songbook by Andrea and Trevor Dow. And this video is going to be a duet video made to race on page 28 and 29. The first part of this video is going to be the teacher part played one line at a time all the way through each line with space in between at a slow tempo. That gives you time to work on the student part at the same time without the pressure of going through the whole thing and without going very fast. So we're gonna start right at the beginning and then after we're all done with all four lines, we're not gonna be doing the repeats during this first part of the video, but during the second part of the video, I'm gonna play the duet part at tempo. So it will be faster right at the tempo that it should be while you work on the student part. So let's start right at the beginning. Made to race, line one. You will start on line one as well. Measure one at a slow tempo. One, two, three, four. How did it go? Feel free to pause the video and go back to the beginning and try it again. Do it as many times as you need to to feel comfortable with that line. Now we're going to move on to line two, starting with measure five. And students right here, you will be using your left hand for measure five. One, two, three, four. of line two. You're doing great. Now we're going to do line three starting at measure nine. Here we go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> to go. So on to line four, measure 13. We are skipping the repeat for now. We're just going to do uh, this section to work on together. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to work on made to race at the correct tempo, at the performance tempo. Uh, you can, again, pause the video, do this as many times as you want to. I want you to feel comfortable playing this with the duet part. So here we go from the beginning, and we will be doing this repeat when we get down to the, the bottom line, measure 13 to 16. One, two, three, Four. Thank you. 
worked very hard on this duet. Uh, that's the end of this video. In the next video, I will be sharing a recording of both parts together. So you will have the teacher part played down here at the same time that the student part is being played way up here. So you'll be able to hear how the two parts go together. You can practice with that video as well because you'll be able to hear and see how the student part lines up with the teacher part. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel and feel free to leave a comment with any questions or just a comment. Thanks.